So some time ago, I started myself a Patreon and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys the story that I started on there and I'm just going to go ahead and encourage that you go there to get the rest of it. I am going to be updating the stories with a series of videos and then at the end of this video I'm going to tell y'all all of the other products I'm going to be working on and on the Patreon is where you can go to see some of these projects come to life and become tangible. So, you know. <laughs> Here we go. This story that is based on true events is titled The Neighbor. Okay. And so the main character is titled, the main character is titled, the, na the main character is named Veronica, her boyfriend, Justin. And the two of them just moved into this condo together. And they are renting the condo from the actual owner of the condo. And it's just the two of them making an attempt to, you know, just take the next step in their relationship, but also to begin saving money to just purchase something bigger that they'd like to live in, you know? Just the natural progressions of a healthy, happy relationship, okay? So, oh, that was a nice pop. So, the two of them, the whole story starts with the two of them moving in, actually physically getting the boxes into the condo. And Veronica is thinking to herself, sheesh, finally we made it. We finally moved in together after talking about it for so long. We finally got all the boxes in here. Now we just have to look forward to actually unpacking and organizing our things and figuring out what goes where. And you know, it's just a whole bunch of anticipation, but also relief because at least they started, you know? So Justin finally moves the last box in and he's like, is that it? Did we get everything? Are we like finally here? And you know, she's Veronica excited and she's also exhausted, but is able to express, yes, like we made it, we're here. You know, now you've got a bunch of unpacking ahead of you. And they just start cracking jokes and you know, making fun of one another and acknowledging that they do have a lot of unpacking ahead of them and they as the two of them are bantering and going back and forth they hear a knock at the door mind you they just moved in so justin is like who could possibly have anything to say to us we just got here and so he gets up and he walks over to the door looks at the peephole and he doesn't really say anything he just sort of puts his hand on the door and veronica's like wait who is it and ignoring her demand for further information, he opens the door. And there's this short, middle-aged, white woman. And she has a pretty heavy Southern accent. And she says, hi, you know, welcome to the neighborhood. That was a <coughs> Southern accent. I am sorry to everybody from the South. Anyways, I can do better, I promise, but we're not gonna try now. We're just not gonna do it. So she has all of this enthusiasm in her voice and she wants to offer them a pie to, to welcome them to the neighborhood. And Veronica's looking at the interaction from a little bit further back away from the door, not really moving, but also able to see everything. And she's thinking, I don't want any pie or anything from this lady. We have no idea who she is. And so Justin, as if reading her mind, politely declines the offer for the pie and says, to be honest with you, I don't think we have a whole lot of time to have any pie. We we just got here. We got a lot of unpacking to do. We're planning on just, you know, cooking up a quick dinner, but but thank you. I'm sure we'll, we'll see you around the neighborhood. And we appreciate the kind gesture and the warm welcome. A very polite decline, but also I don't know you. So I really don't want shit from you. So there's also that. And this woman, looks devastated at, at, at the, the decline of her pie. And it was just such a drastic, sudden shift in, in her demeanor, in, in her approach. When she first approached them and when the door first opened, she was emanating, she was just glowing in enthusiasm. And it was just an uncanny feeling. And so she was like, well, no pie and Justin and Veronica are both sort of standing there politely and um, she just abruptly turns and walks away 
no depart greeting, greeting or no departure like thank you uh, I apologize sorry for bothering you none of the above none none nada okay she just leaves and Justin kind of just stands there turns back looks at Veronica and Veronica just takes it upon herself to just go over and shut the door and she's like why are you just randomly opening the door for strangers? To be honest with you, it didn't really look like she was gonna let up. You know, she looked persistent. <laughs> Might as well just open the door. <laughs> He's obviously not taking it that seriously. So she's like, are you not concerned? Are you not worried about that interaction? That was really weird. Not really, we just, there's always somebody in the neighborhood that everybody wants to avoid. And it's probably her. And just as she's about to say something else, there's another knock at the door. She doesn't move. Justin goes over to the door, looks through the people, and he's like, nobody's there. And so she stood there staring at him and just sort of trying to understand what exactly is taking place. Is this a prank? What is going on? And Justin just fearlessly opens the door, looks left, looks right. Veronica hasn't moved from where she stands. And then he looks down. And she's like, what is it? What is it? And the way he's standing, you know, she can obviously see beyond him, but she can't see what is in front of his figure. And he steps out the way and he points down at some pie, a freshly baked pie, nobody in sight. And so Veronica's like, what the fudge? Now, upon their greeting, Upon this, this woman's greeting, the, the neighbor who was so overzealous about this pie, she said, my daughter and I saw that you just moved into the neighborhood and we wanted to offer you some pie. Now, keep in mind, them discovering the pie on their mat, on their doorstep, that's how I ended it. And I'm bringing up the point that the neighbor, who we don't have a name for yet, brought up her daughter is because the way the next, I guess, chapter or the next episode in this story starts is by the two of them discovering, and we'll talk about that in the story, that she doesn't actually have a daughter. Okay? So that is the end of The Neighbors. The Neighbor is the title of the story. Introduction. Um, I wanted you guys to have a little snippet of that. I wanted you guys to see what I've created, what kind of platform and environment I'm going to use the, the Patreon for. All of my series and stuff, well not all of them, but a lot of new series. The ones that I started on YouTube, I'm gonna continue on YouTube. This one I'm telling you I'm gonna start it here with many others and it will continue on the Patreon. It will, you guys will absolutely love that platform go on right over there and join and uh, show your girl some love. Another thing that I am starting is what Blake Quake Beats and I decided we were going to title Epic Tales. So it's going to be sort of like a cross between my episodic stories and a graphic novel. And it's gonna come together and we're calling it Epic Tales. The name of the actual series that I'm going to begin is called Namagasi, which translates to with strength. It is going to be absolutely mother freaking epic. I revealed what my main character is going to look like on my Patreon and on my Instagram, which is called the soul of my pen. And I'll show you guys here. And that is another thing that I will begin to feed more life into on the Patreon platform. I am so effing excited about it. When it's finally done and it comes to fruition, there will be a bunch of like hard copies and you know, series and episodes and, and ish for you guys to purchase. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really freaking excited about it. So <clears throat> I'm gonna try my darndest to do some lives, to do some Q and A's, to you know, try to get some ideas from you guys and some of you guys' stories on my IG, on my Tiki Taki, on here, YouTube. 
Um, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the following. Thank you for the interactions, the comments, the laughs. I love it all. I appreciate it all. Um, here's what I need from you guys. Help your girl get to 80,000 subscribers. And on the Patreon, help me get to a solid 100 patrons. And then, you know, we're just gonna keep setting some more and some more goals. I love you guys. Thank you. Check out my editor, Blake Quake Beats. Check out our music that we have out, Ashley Page, John Locke, um, and of course, Blake Quake Beats. We're gonna keep it coming for y'all. We're just gonna keep the content rolling. Thank you.